Hey guys, Davin Lim, dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about skin tightening and how I'm going to structure this video is what I do or we do in clinic. And then towards the end, I'll give you hints in regards to DIY things that you can do at home to firm and also tighten your skin. Okay, so in clinic, what do we use? Basically, we use energy devices, dermal fillers, threads. So the energy devices we use can be grouped into three different types. First of all, things like radio frequency. So radio frequency or radio frequency microneedling can contract collagen and this can reduce your fine lines, your wrinkles, but also tighten skin. In the context of radio frequency, there are many different players. So you have radio frequency microneedling, you have radio frequency which is high heat over a short amount of time, and then radio frequency which is low heat over a longer period of time. So these devices are called, for example, Genius, Infini, Morpheus 8, all these are examples of radio frequency microneedling. When we talk about higher heating devices, things like Thermage, and when we think about low heat RF devices, we can think about things like Pelevay, Tempsure, in the new, new era. So in this context, what we try to do is match a specific treatment for the patient. So for example, someone who has um, more ethnic skin type, what we might do is to use something like the new era, the Peleve, or the Temptra, or even the Marge. In the context of um, sun damage, a lot of the time, if you have a lot of sun damage, the treatments for, for whether it be skin tightening, whether it be laser resurfacing, mild laser resurfacing, they don't work as well. So we need to think about other treatments if you have background sun damage. The next one is HIFU or high intensity focus ultrasound. And that goes under the names of um, Altherapy or Ultraforma. And these devices, the high intensity focus ultrasound, delivers ultrasound as the name suggests, in high intensity to different levels of skin. So these device companies will market that they can go really deep, 4.5 mil, 3 mil, 1.5. And what HIFU does is that lays down powerful ultrasound waves which contract the layer that's just above the muscle, but also in the fibrous septae of fat and also in the dermis itself. And hence, all three levels can be treated with HIFU. Do I use HIFU? I'm very selective as to who I place in HIFU. Reason being, it's a very, very powerful device. And if someone has low facial volume, I might not choose HIFU, but I might choose something like radio frequency. So we've talked about radio frequency, we've talked about HIFU. Let's talk about lasers. So lasers by itself, generally speaking, don't lift the skin. Exception is that if we're really treating deep levels, for example, using CO2 fractional laser or fully ablative. That's where you get contraction of your collagen, in turn improving skin laxity and providing skin tightening. So what other devices do we do? Let's go right back to from square one and talk about peels because chemical peels can help with skin tightening. Once again, they're not superficial peels, we're talking about deeper peels. Something like trichloroacetic acid or Jesna's TCA or even the phenol croton oil peels. And these peels can actually stimulate your collagen and as a result provide skin tightening. Another treatment which is, I guess, in vogue, which I do think actually works very well, is the use of dermal fillers. And with dermal fillers, we've got two types. We've got your hyaluronic acid dermal fillers and then you've got the collagen stimulating dermal fillers, something like PLLA, calcium hydroxyapatite. So often we combine fillers with other treatments, for example, the RF, your HIFU, or even your laser resurfacing. Fillers work well, and like I said, you can stimulate your own collagen. That usually takes between three to four months before you see the results, compared to something like hyaluronic acid dermal fillers, where you get your results almost instantaneously. Another good tip, is PDO threads. So there are two different thread types. You've got your anchoring or um, uh, barbed threads, and then you've got your PDO threads. Now PDO threads, you've got to lay them in a specific area, and that can cause um, collagen tightening and also decrease skin laxity. And my favorite combination with threads is basically the use of radio frequency energy, high intensity focus ultrasound, but sometimes laser treatments as well. What you have or what we do as dermatologists is often dependent on your ethnicity, 
the clinical findings and your expectations. That is a really quick summary of what skin tightening, I guess the algorithm of which we work with. Now, in the context of what you can do at home, uh, there's a couple of things. So microcurrent I like, uh, but microcurrent, whether it be the um, Foria Bear, whether it be the New Face or what have you, they can work. They can cause immediate collagen contraction. That's why you feel like your face is firmer. But over time, they can stimulate collagen because they modulate the energy levels through the release of ATP. So there are specific individual factors which are very important when you're trying to do microcurrent. The first is that you must have minimal skin laxity. Microcurrent is not a facelift. Microcurrent does not replace radio frequency and it does not replace something like a blade of lasers. But what it can do is firm up your skin. Sometimes you may see a reduction in deep wrinkles, thus improving skin laxity. So one, we talked about microcurrent. Another thing which you can do at home is just simple needling. And when I mean simple needling, it's like 0 0.25, 0 0.3 millimeter needling. That can stimulate some collagen. You may receive some mild changes with that. Most importantly, skincare. Can skincare itself decrease laxity? That's controversial. We know skincare can protect your skin. So things like antioxidants, whether you're using the uh, ferulic acid or ascorbic acid or even uh, tocopherol, which is vitamin E, that can prevent or reduce the amount of UV damage and also environmental damage to your skin. So we talked about sensible treatments which you can do at home to improve your skin laxity. As for muscle exercises, I think that's a little bit controversial. I don't usually prescribe muscle exercises, but certainly if you look on YouTube, there might be something out there. And considering it's free, why not have a go? Guys, I hope you liked that video. It's a very short one, but I've been through a whole heap of different ways how we actually work, um, work out what skin tightening device is for you. Guys, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you shortly.